Hello friends, so today I wanted to show you 4 ways that you can affect visual hierarchy in your designs to make better user interfaces for the web. So let's get right into it. The first one is by ranking elements. On the left we have a design that doesn't provide any visual cue on which things users should pay more attention to. All the text looks similar, the name, the occupation, the years of experience. As you can already tell, this makes it hard for the user to find the information they are looking for faster. On the right, we fix this problem by providing a clear hierarchy on the text we want the users to read. Let's say we want to make emphasis on the name, we should give it more hierarchy by for example increasing its font size and even adding some heavy weight to it. The occupation is second in line, so it fits right below the name with a slightly smaller font size. We leave the description and experience for last by changing its position. We even added more white space from the main content and also reduced the font size. Playing with the font size, weight and placement is a great way to give your text a different hierarchy. In our next example we have spacing. Spacing is one of those subtle things in web design that can make or break your design. Let's take a look at the text on the left, it is clearly more difficult to read due to the little space between each line and also because of its weight, it is too heavy. The text on the right on the other hand is much easier to follow due to the exact opposite, a good amount of white space and a less heavy weight. So always take into account the line height and the weight when adding text to your site. The third way of applying visual hierarchy is by having a clear difference between primary and secondary actions. In the example on the left, there is a difference between the cancel and save buttons, but it's not enough. On the other hand, the example on the right makes us focus more on the primary action save, which is more likely the one that we are going to use. And last, we have contrast. Contrast is a great way to create focal points in your design and therefore increasing the visual hierarchy of elements. Little contrast can make the text difficult to read and also difficult to find. On the other hand, proper contrast has the entire opposite effect. Not only makes the text easy to follow, but it also creates a focal point in your design. In this example, which one do you think is going to be easier to read and find by the user? Probably the one on the right. So it's always a good idea to be mindful of the contrast and the color that we use throughout our application. So these are just 4 ways that you can use visual hierarchy to change the perspective of your design. I hope you found this useful and I'll see you in the next one.